Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The semiconductor field is an industry with a relatively high technical threshold, and the international supply chain is also very large. So it is not that easy to overtake in corners. However, this does not mean that some changes will not occur in the industry. Every once in a while, there will always be some semiconductor companies that begin to decline because their technology development gradually fails and some manufacturers have completed their technology in a certain field. A key breakthrough, and it became a well-known enterprise in the industry. For example, around the 1980s, Japan's semiconductor industry chain performed very well. At that time, eight of the top ten semiconductor companies in the world were Japanese semiconductor companies, and two of the top three semiconductor companies were Japanese. Enterprise Japanese semiconductor companies have performed very well in many fields such as chip manufacturing, semiconductor equipment, and semiconductor materials but now Japan's semiconductor industry is pretty good in semiconductor equipment and materials. Among them, in the field of semiconductor equipment, it is gradually surpassed by the rising star ASML. Today, only the Dutch lithography giant ASML can ship EUV lithography machines globally. But in fact, ASML was not only established relatively late, but its scale was not large at the beginning. It was after breakthroughs in the fields of immersion DUV lithography machines and EUV lithography machines that ASML surpassed Nikon and Canon, the two Japanese Gemini. However, ASML's technological leadership may not always be maintained. Judging from the current news, Japanese lithography giant Canon has officially announced that it will launch low-cost nano-imprint lithography technology this year. Industry insiders said, Canon's move is likely to affect ASML's current position in the lithography machine market. What's more, ASML has now had two shipment licenses revoked, which means that ASML's shipments to the Chinese market will be seriously affected. Judging from Canon's public information, this nano-imprint lithography machine technology is the success of Canon's 15-year research. The current semiconductor node width is 5 nanometers, and the goal will eventually reach the 2 nanometers process lithography process. The most critical thing is that this technology will reduce the procurement cost of parts and components thereby achieving lower shipping prices, and also has good performance in terms of operating power consumption. At the end of December, ASML launched the latest NAEUV lithography machine. Judging from previously disclosed news, this lithography machine is already capable of producing 2 nanometers processed chips. Judging from this comparison, Canon's imprint lithography machine technology seems to be lagging behind ASML. But in fact, the impact on ASML is still very serious and may even affect ASML's current market position. After all, the most advanced lithography equipment has always been the most important equipment that chip foundry manufacturers strive for. With Intel restarting its chip foundry business. Nowadays, manufacturers in the international market that are very concerned about 2 nanometers process advanced chips include TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. Judging from the information disclosed by ASML, its most advanced NAEUV lithography machine has an annual production capacity of only about 10 units, and it will mainly supply Intel. This means that if Samsung and TSMC 
do not want to lag behind Intel in the 2 nanometers process, they must find other channels to obtain semiconductor equipment that can manufacture 2 nanometers process chips. Canon's imprint lithography machine will undoubtedly become a good choice. After all, it is not inferior to ASML's NAEUV lithography machine in terms of process and has a price advantage. This also means that Canon can now come in to get a share of the advanced lithography machine market that has been previously occupied by ASML. Affected by the export control of semiconductor equipment, ASML will have difficulty shipping semiconductor equipment to the Chinese market starting from 2024, which means that ASML's revenue from mid to low end lithography machines will be greatly affected. Now that Canon has emerged as a challenger in the field of high end lithography equipment, ASML may not have an easy time. However, ASML never expected that after they sold more than 6 million lithography machines to Chinese customers, the Dutch government would ban the sale of these equipment on January 1, 2024. By January 2024, the production of 2000i and 2050i lithography models and other lithography models will be stopped, and some important DUV lithography equipment will be restricted. In other words, the Netherlands will once again completely disable advanced DUV lithography machines. Deep UV lithography process. Trilateral agreement has begun again. ASML also said helplessly, we really can't let go of the Chinese market. China has purchased all lithography machines from ASML before 2022 meeting the company's long-term needs, and the counterattack of Huawei's Kirin core also proves that our country does have independently developed advanced technology and cooperates with Shanghai Microelectronics, High Silicon, and other semiconductor equipment research and development. It will not take many years for China to completely break away from dependence on ASML. As long as China is given two years, China will no longer rely on ASML's lithography machines without worrying about being locked out. If you agree, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it. Thank you for watching this video.